All right. Go live to pre-stream. Here we are, folks. We are pre-streaming. I don't know why, but we're doing it. Because we are. It's because it's a Monday and we got to get our brains at least somewhat on track. Painkillers. Yeah, well, that's what you get for being helpful. <laughs> get off. No, no, I, I highly recommend against doing that. Yeah, and stitches, throw it back on. Yeah, right. not fun. Hold it in. The nail, the nail is temporarily in place. That look pretty. Still, uh, they take the stitch. Uh, there's only a couple things that that make me squeamish. One of them is nails, and the other one is feet. Damage to either of those the areas, it just it makes me really squeamish. Yeah. Yes. That's because I, I, it doesn't matter if I'm squeamish. It has to be done. It has to be done. <laughs> I, I learned how to push through my squeamishness by having kids who would do things like drop chairs on their feet or walk around barefoot. <laughs> and then I, and then I fall. How'd he do? He's fine. He, oh, good. Didn't give it a second. <laughs> did a better job. Yeah. I'll just wait till he gets out there with his buddies on the bikes. <laughs> He'll get plenty of experience then. Yep. Well, no, but what about your bicycles? And Ivy is a month away from being able to take her driver's license or driver's test. Studying? She has studied a little, but because she w started school late, she's been more focused on that. Um, Either way, in in a month she'll be able to take it, and I have a feeling that in if uh, that like springtime she'll be taking it. Hmm. Nice. That's awesome. He can't wait. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Different back in me. What did a learner's permit allow you to do? It's then? the same as the ELP. Oh, okay. So it allows you to drive with a parent. Okay. But they 15 and a half back then. Huh. That was also, you also got it so you have to take. Mm. And you, got, you, couldn't, you couldn't take driver's sign up for driver. Wait, so they actually taught people how to drive in school? I thought yeah. that was just a movie thing. No, that was actually done in high school. Show those really crazy uh, crash, crash. Scare you. Yeah. Some, hmm. of them, some of them were even. Some of them were just like, hey, that's cool. <laughs> they actually, and they actually had teachers in cars. Did nothing all day long, but student, four students in the car. Driving, I mean, for an hour and a half class, got like 20 a day or a week. I had to pull over and another kid. Hmm. A brake pedal. <laughs> Yeah, not a not a job for the faint of heart. No, no, not a job <laughs> for the faint of heart. I've taught enough people to drive. 
I, 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 I've quit after you. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. My issue was ma mostly figuring out the Canadian. Oh, uh, apparently we are breaking up. Breaking up? Yep. You guys are breaking up, says your alter ego. Yeah, it is weird. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. My issue was ma mostly figuring out the Canadian. Oh, uh, Should we try hanging up on Discord? Have me call back or? Yeah. All right. Hello, hello. <clears throat> Let's carry on here. Talking, 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 talking. Right. I was going to say my biggest issue was uh, figuring out the Canadian laws versus the New Zealand laws where I learned to drive. YouTube's yeah. isn't cooperating? Well, no, I accidentally... Ah. And talk and talk and talk. Right. I was uh, going to say my biggest mm -hmm. issue was uh, figuring out the Canadian laws versus the New Because it loves you? No, uh, I don't know. Or I'm it hates you? Gonna have to I'm let not really YouTube, sure. You have to let YouTube get ahead of us. Ah. 30 second delay is. Fully kicked in. But of course. Isn't it can't be perfectly on time. That would take way too much effort. <clears throat> Silence. And then we can talk. Did we get they talk? Every time that I hear the word silence, I can't help but think of the silence from the Doctor Who shows. <clears throat> Silence. And then we can talk. Did we get they talk? Every yeah. time that I hear the word silence, I can't help but think of the silence from the Doctor Who shows. Hmm. That's usually what you sound like to me at the end of the show. But usually it's only me who hears that. If I'm not breaking up, but you are, is it possible it has to do with your mic? Thought? Okay, let's see what we got here. One more time. Okay, checking one, two, three, finding out what sound is breaking up. Check, check, <clears throat> one, two, three, four. I okay, have no idea what, what else to here. say. One more time. Okay, checking one, two, three, finding out what sound is. Okay, 
Clean up. Check, check. <clears throat> One, two, three, four. I okay, have no idea what, what else to here. say. Check one, two, three, four. Check one, two, three, four. Check one, two, three, four. Check, check, check. One, two, one, two. Trying to figure out what got us. Get your levels? Yeah, I'm looking at the levels. The levels seem to be dropping off occasionally. Right there, it just dropped right off. Hmm. Um, I bet I have the. Not a what's a capacitor? Noise issue? gate. Check one, two. Check one, two, check one, two, two, check one, two, check two, check one, 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 two, one, one, two, three, four. Yep, noise gate set better. Checking, talking, moving, voice up and down. Yeah, there we go. Okay. There's a noise gate. Okay, now we can go check it again for audio. <clears throat> check it for audio for both of us? Well, I'll check it for me because it seems to have been my problem more than anybody else's. <laughs> All right. And the sound of silence. All right. We're going to see if this thing is working the way it's supposed to work and that I am not breaking up so we can actually do a show with some good audio. I'm really trying to get the audio, folks. Seems to have been my problem more than anybody else's. <laughs> All right. And the sound of silence. All right, we're going to see if this thing is working the way it's supposed to work and that I am not breaking up so we can actually do a show with some good audio. I'm really trying to get the audio, folks. That seems so, to have been my problem more than anybody else's. Sounds good. Okay. Definitely sounds a lot better, yeah. All right, we've rolled right through the early music kickoff, so I think we'll just yep. do a little bit of the music and uh, roll into showtime. Sounds good. <laughs> Sacred rules of old that you went missing down Highway 49. Roll well, that. I think it's time for us to take this on the road and let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for WordPress plugins A to Z, not Z. Hmm. 
Oh, dear God, man, my brain just fried on me. I had everything set the way I wanted it, and it just went doom. So we're going to roll that back, and we'll take two <laughs> on that one. Because somebody changed something on me again. That's what happened. I had it all... I warned you I changed it. Well, you did, but the problem is, is you added episode 576 to the list, and I always click on the top item. I don't even look at that. Thing. It's like you already duplicated the show notes for next show. It's like you're just being efficient here. All right, let's try this again. Need to stop the recording. No, I didn't already duplicate it. If there's two, that's weird. There shouldn't be two. I see. Uh, we're on episode 576, right? Yeah, 576. Yeah, I only I only see five one seven there 576. It now it's there. It wasn't there. Okay, something was wrong. I had everything. Well, that's not my fault. It is. Anyway. Your we'll, computer is being cranky. Yeah, whatever. We're just, <laughs> we're just gonna we're just gonna go with Glitch, glitch, glitch. I seem to be surrounded by them. When I was booking an appointment online with somebody this morning, all of a sudden their computer didn't want to work. It's like, yeah, thank you. AI. You catch me even on the cell phones. Wow. You're just really all kinds of fun. All right, let's start it this one, one more time. We need a little bit of a little bit of music. I I think we'll just we'll just go with this one here. This one here is much better. I think the AI likes this song better anyway. <laughs> These are the days of thunder. We're gonna make time stand still. <laughs> There we go. It is time for the show. Let's get going one more time. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for WordPress plugins A to Z, not Z. Hmm. WordPress plugin Zen, and we need lots of Zen right now. We've got <laughs> plugins for, oh, remember alls, WP code, everything. Zone Converter, Rewriting Emails, Interactive Logons, Redirecting Logins, and Classic Press Options all coming up on WordPress Plugins from A to Z. WordPress. It's the most popular content management and website solution on the internet. And with over 80,000 plugins to choose from, how do you separate the junk from the gems? Join us for a weekly, unrehearsed conversation about the latest and greatest in WordPress plugins. This is WordPress Plugins from A to Z. Well, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you happen to be hiding out there on the globe today. Coming to you direct from the Brewery Overlook in beautiful southern Vancouver Island. I'm John Overall, and with me is the ever-lovely... Amber overall. And we have a lovely show for you today. The AI is still having fun with us and playing games. And, well, we tried to appease it today by playing, I think, its favorite song. we got all kinds of other fun stuff for you today. Some really great stuff here on the show. And, you know, all that usual stuff. But what the Thank heck. Thank you for sharing, John. Now get down from that soapbox. All right. <laughs> I'll go. <laughs> Welcome to episode 576. This is episode number 36 for 2022, and we are working through the new layout of the show. Still having a bit of issues, but today it really wasn't us so much as it was the AI. It honestly it just messed around with us a bit this morning. <laughs> We would love to hear some feedback from our listeners. Let us know whether or not you think the new layout is good or bad. Totally awesome. You know, let us know. And a message from your A to Z plugin worker bees. This is a value for value show, meaning any value you find here, offer that same value back. This can be telling someone about us, offering five bucks up or more, you know, never say no to shiny treasure, or spending some time helping out the show. And don't skip the end. This is where I throw oddball questions at my dad to see if any stump him. Haven't managed yet. Maybe one day, maybe if our listeners could help us out a bit, we could stump him faster. And a special note to our new listeners. There is no such thing as a stupid question. There is always someone out there with the same questions. And stepping up to ask them yourself will help both you and them. There is no judgment here in this community. So ask away. The more simple the question, 
more the most more likely you will have a lot of people helping you to understand the answer. So don't worry about a question being stupid or anything like that. Let's start the show off with this week's featured artist. And this week is Angel Lemu, which I am so happy to see someone else come in. I love Angel's work and what he has here with the the Zen Buddha. I really like it. Looks kind of like the looks kind of like the statue is cuddling our little logo there. I really like this one. Yeah, this is quite cool. I, I as soon as I saw it, I grabbed. It. I didn't even know who did it. But... <laughs> I'm, gr I'm really happy to see Angel throwing some artwork in again. Yeah. I like his artwork a lot. Thanks, Angel. We greatly appreciate it. Throw some more. Throw some more, Angel. Is it just me, or is a little plug-in face looking a little uncertain? No, he looks pretty <laughs> happy there. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, he looks pretty happy cuddled in uh, Buddha's uh, hands there. <laughs> so if anyone out there is feeling inspired... Hit us up at our site, wpplugins.com slash artwork and submit some artwork of your own. Or check out all the artwork that's already there at wpplugins.com slash artwork. Now, on to the news. Please, can everybody be quiet? Please be quiet. Shut up! Thank you. And now the WordPress news. Whatever. <laughs> Yeah, you finally to, did it. Yeah, I finally <laughs> went and fixed. I finally went and fixed a couple of a uh, couple of things. Nice. Tired of, tired of having to remember to do that. <laughs> so this is the breaking news in the WordPress world at large. First, we'll start with our WordPress vulnerability report. This is from October twelfth. This week's list is short and sweet. We have WP total hacks and WP word count. There was a vulnerability in newspaper WordPress theme last week, though it has been fixed. That's actually a good theme. I've used it a couple of times. Yeah, I've, I've seen it in a couple of sites and it, it looks really useful. Yeah, I like if you, it. If, you, if, you're building out a, if you're building out a newspaper theme, it's a really good theme for building out a newspaper website. Mm -hmm. so. And all of the ones that you're scrolling by right now, those are all ones that either have been fixed or had an issue that was fixed before they even got a chance to put into the list. Mm -hmm. Next up, we have short codes, ultimate plugin patches, CSR vulnerability in version 5.12.1. So, uh, short codes, ultimate plugin has now patched a vulnerability. Uh, hang on, I have to sneeze again. I'm just gonna mute for a second. Okay. We are on mute, folks. This is a fun place to be. And quiet. Yes, very quiet because I'm not sitting there talking. Sorry, everyone. I have an I have an allergy issue going on. I haven't gotten all the dust in my new place gone. And even with my allergy pills, I'm still sneezing. So the shortcode's ultimate plugin has now patched a vulnerability in the most recent version. The vulnerability was a security issue in the shortcode generator. The change log talks about the, the vulnerability, but it doesn't offer any specifics. And it was patched two weeks ago. It's not thought that this, that this vulnerability was taken advantage of. Uh, they haven't had any reports on it. But I, honestly, I don't think they're sure yet. So... If you haven't already, be sure to update this if you're using it. Next up, we have WordPress.org removes active install growth data for plugins. So this is a key metric that many developers and a handful of services rely on for tracking. The reason given for removal is insufficient data obfuscation. A lot of the WordPress community is not happy about this. And if we go to the next link here, this is uh, talking about how the frustrations are mounting as developers plead with WordPress leadership to restore access to the active install growth for data plugins. This had been removed without a public discussion and there is a ticket calling for bringing back the charts. It's pretty heated discussion going on right now. So far, no results. Hmm. We shall see what happens. There seems to be some problems down at the WordPress development team of just doing random shit. 
yeah with, with no with no idea on what you know the community wants or needs or something that's been there for a very long time yeah that could be that's very useful for plugin developers to know is not only know how much how many installs they have but what's been the growth of it did it have a sudden growth or has it been gradual or you know it's yeah, just, uh, if you go to the next link, the WordPress.org plugin developers demand transparency. Yeah. That uh, that one actually talks more in depth about the ticket, and it gives you the links to the ticket, so you can join into the conversation yourself. Yeah. Like this is a really good one to go to if you are also peeved about this, or if you think it's a great idea, you can join the discussion on the board. So Matt removed it. Well, I assume that Matt removed it or he was in on removing it because he, 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 according to this article here, he, he says, you know, he asked developers to explain their reasoning for bringing the stats back without communicating yeah. why they removed. So, evades the questions. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So, yeah. So, something's up with Matt and there's something, there's got to be some, there's got to be some reason behind this that, benefits wordpress.com yeah i'm not sure what it is but i wouldn't know most what, of the community is peeved well the community is definitely peeved for a valid reason of it but you know and my speculations on it, my speculations here would be that there's something the the, the reason it's removed it, is it benefits wordpress.com in some way by removing it and maybe all their plugins that they develop that show different types of growth patterns that that uh, are unnatural. Because in a previous I article, could... in the previous article, they state something about data obfuscation not good enough. It's like Whoa. insufficient data obfuscation yes. is the only reason that's been yeah. given for this so yeah. far. But what data has to be obfuscated when they're collecting data anyway about that a plugin's installed? What uh, what other data does it collect? So. At any rate, there's something something in that one. All right, well, we'll move on. Hopefully, that'll change. I don't know. Sometimes I still feel like WordPress keeps shooting itself in its foot regularly. <laughs> well, we'll definitely be keeping an eye on this one. Next up, we have hosted WooCommerce solution coming to WordPress.com in 2023, following recent launches launches from GoDaddy and Bluehost. So. One of the biggest announcements from from the event this last week was that WooCommerce is developing its own hosted turnkey solution in collaboration with hosting partners. WordPress.com will be the first to pilot the product in February of 2023. Mm. I'm kind of curious about this because I I don't know WooCommerce with its own hosted uh but with its own hosting, it's kind of an intri intriguing idea. I'm interested in watching it, well. seeing what happens. It's just it's just another way of, you know, hitting the little niche markets and making more money. Um, yeah. Because I caught a I caught a thread when I was in Twitter today. I caught a thread and uh about someone going, Hey, what's this with GoDaddy wanting to bump me up to a new tier of, of hosting because I want to run GoDaddy. I have to have a WooCommerce uh uh hosting package for it. And it's like, you know, and as the, the, the thread went on about, you know, well, WooCommerce does use more resources on a website than yeah. a regular site does. And uh, so what these companies re come to realize is like, there's people out there that will pay for a managed or a better service for hosting their WooCommerce websites because WooCommerce in a shared hosting environment can sometimes be pretty rough. So it's, it's all it is, is they're com they've been coming up with ways to make more money and do things better, I guess. I don't know. I don't know if it's better, but it's just something else. Well, that's why I'm interested <clears throat> in watching it because because of how rough it can be with WooCommerce sometimes. Yeah. I'm interested in seeing if by doing their own hosting, maybe they'll vanquish that, that rougher bit. Yeah, I doubt it. It'll be interesting to watch. Yeah. So next up, we have... Exciting news for Gutenberg users. Gutenberg 14.2 improves writing flow, adds kerning controls for headings and global styles. So there's some exciting changes for Gutenberg. One change in particular is the sibling and the line inserters have been updated to use a more natural animation effect with a slightly increased delay to minimize accidental triggers, which is very good for people who are a bit finger trigger happy like me on a mouse. Mm. 
This also improves selection of multiple blocks, making it smoother and more consistent. So if you are a Gutenberg user, definitely go and check this out. Might help you out. You might hate it. I'd love to hear back. Yep. And last one we have for today is an entertaining one as always. Google search crashes when you ask how many emojis on Apple. Okay. <laughs> Oh, it's just entertaining that Google kept crashing because I, what was happening mostly is um, it was Emojipedia.com that was causing the crash, but also because there are so many different things for emoji, it it was freezing. It yeah. couldn't gather all the emojis yeah, well, to bring to you. I can see that. And we now have a new emoji, a freeze emoji, because of Google crashing. Gotta love it. Oh, <laughs> crazy never ends. And then we have classic press news. Unfortunately, don't have any new items for classic press news. The only thing we still have here is the projects they're looking to have some support with. Now, if you are interested in going checking out classic press, you can go to the link that will be in our show notes. If you have any news for Classic Press, send it in to us. We'll get it up here into the show. And then we also have all of our extras. In our extras, we have a bit of WordPress, some um, hacking information, and some entertaining AI things like what authors want from AI ghostwriters. We always have some awesome stuff in the extras. Ready? So go to our show notes and check it out. It's a contest, contest, WordPress plugins from A to Z. Oh, so free! Yeah! So first, we want to thank Simple Giveaways for being totally awesome and providing us with their premium version for our contests. Secondly, we want to thank Steve Goodtime and Brent Matthews for creating our amazing jingle that we still use and love. We don't have a contest going on right now. When Charlie had to leave us behind for bigger and better things, he left some pretty big shoes to fill, and we just haven't had the time to do so this last year. Thank you, Charlie, for hanging around for so long, keeping our show's contests on the up and up, making the show the best it could be. If anyone out there thinks they might be able to fill the shoes Charlie's left behind, please give us a shout and give it a go. You can always reach us through WPPlugins, A to Z dot com slash contact, or you can reach out to me at amber at WPPRO dot CA. Remember, this is your show. We are just the worker bees here. Don't be afraid to jump up and down and demand turn at the wheel to help guide the show to where you want it to go. That goes for all the developers out there, too. This is your show. By supporting us with your plugin donations, you are helping to guide the show to where you want to see it go, and you're getting your own plugin out there. A giant thank you is owed to developers who have been supporting us uh, this whole time. We could never have even gotten the show up off the ground without your support. Thank you so much. If any developers out there are listening right now and are interested in adding to the show by donating a premium license for our contests, you can do so by going to wppluginsa-z.com slash plugin contest. Now time for the good stuff. Absolutely. It's plugin time. All right. So let's go with the first one I've got off the ball here today. It's called Remember All. And this is for all those out there who are not getting enough email is that emails in your inbox every day and you want to add one more email to that inbox. Not sure if it'll <laughs> be every day, but it'll be often enough. And it's also a reminder for those of you that sometimes don't log into your website on a daily, daily basis to check for updates. It's a plug-in that you plug it in, turn it on, and it will send an email to the administrator of the website reminding them that they have updates, you know, so you can get in and get those updates done. Just a simple little plug-in. I thought it might be useful for some folks and, uh, you know, just to help you along your line and add one more, in, one more email to that 200 plus email inbox a day. Go check it out. It's called Remember All, and I give it a four, Dragon Rating. Man, Harry Potter has such a huge theme in WordPress. We got the Remember All, we got Dobby. 
I've seen so many Harry Potter things. Mm -hmm. Well, you know. First one I have today is rewrite email address. This is a useful, totally free plug and play plugin. Once activated, it goes to your site and rewrites your email wherever it happens to be to my email at address.com, spelling it out with underscores so that can't be grabbed up by bots and used against you. It's a great additional security feature. The only drawback I can see is that the people who are using your site won't be able to copy and paste it. Yeah, if you go to the next uh, picture on that, you can see what it does. Yep. Very yep. useful if you're having uh, some some issues with getting lots of spam. Yep. Well, the big question I got is, what if you have that email address linked so people can just click it to open up their email system and send out an email? It didn't affect it when I tested it out. Oh. Uh, I was still able to link it. Okay. Because the link is still there. It just changes the way it looks. The link is still there. Is the underlying code changed in some way? In, I don't know. It's still linked when I clicked yeah. on it. Well, that means so. the under, because you got to remember, there, there's there's underlying code to that link. The yeah. text isn't what the bots look for. The text don't, the bots don't read your text on your website. Yeah. You know, they read the code. They read the code that's displayed that humans can't really comprehend. That's what bots read. So that's why if it doesn't change the code, then it really does nothing but give you a visual change. Yeah, it's still linked when I tested yeah. it. Okay, I'm so just wondering. I All guess right. it doesn't change the code, the underlying code. Oh, okay. Alrighty. Well, I rate this at five dragons. Very good. All right. The next one I have for you is a renaming of an old plugin and an update. It is WP code, insert headers and footers, plus custom script code or custom code snippets, WordPress code manager. They really pushed the name out big time from just being called insert headers and footers. I think the first name was better. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I remember it was, it was, it was the original was done by WP beginner. And now it's done by WP Code. So somebody's rewritten the plugin. Uh, so it's still a great plugin, one that's very, very useful. It allows you to put snippets in your headers and footers really easily and without much trouble at all and just always works. So when I tripped across it, first I thought it was, you know, when I seen it, I said, what, is this a new one? And then as I'm reading through, oh, it's the rewrite of WP Beginner's original pro, uh, plugin. So at any rate, really great plugin, one with a new name, which is way longer than it used to be, and uh, allows you to take your little code snippets that you want to put in and put them in there in here and versus having to stick them in somewhere else on the site. All anyway, right, a great little plugin. Go check it out. It's WP Code Insert Headers and Footers plus Custom Code Snippets minus WordPress Code Manager. <laughs> <laughs> I had to get that out there. At any rate, I give it a five dragon rating. Next one I have is inactive login. So inactive login is actually quite a great plugin. Once activated, you go to the settings and choose whether or not people will automatically be logged out after a certain amount of time. Really cool thing about this is that you can choose a time to log out particular roles. For example, you can simply turn off for the admins, but set to 15 minutes of, of inactivity, they get logged out for everyone else. Or you can set that for just the authors, but the uh, writers can have 24-hour access, etc. You can make it very specific for any role. It meshes very well with, uh, with other plugins like Ultimate Member. And... It it brain froze. There is a pro version. There is a free, but the free version does give you everything you need. So because of the pro version, I rate inactive login at four dragons. Oops, we gave a gave it a dragon warn. I shouldn't have jumping well, the maybe, gun. Maybe maybe I should have rated it at five. Um, no, I was about to say, I was going to say something on this one. I'm pretty sure I've used this plugin for a site I did a few years ago, which is a, which is a bit of a membership site and they had troubles people not remembering to log out and from different computers. Yeah. And so I set this up so that I logged them out automatically. So it is a good plugin. Works it really well. is. It works really well. 
it's time to donate to WP. Plugins. A to Z. We interrupt this meat and potatoes, a plug in depravity edition to bring you our donation segment and to thank our producers. Remember, this is your show. We're just the worker bees here. Don't forget to restock the show's larders with some time, treasure, or talent donations. If you need more information on how to do that, you can <clears> check out our site, WPPluginsAtoZ.com, and right up in the menu, you will see each one, time, treasure, and talent, under donations. A special thanks goes to freelance producers popping in and out. Though always showing up at unexpected times, these producers are surely part of the reason our name is getting out there. Thank you very much. Backroom producers hanging out in the lounge. Always about the place, consuming all the coffee and donuts. These producers earn it by helping with our contests, artwork, site organization, notes, questions, suggestions, licenses, and by hiring us. Your time and talent donations are equal to your treasure donations of under $50, and we would not be here without you. So thank you to, to the backroom producers. And our newest uh, level of producers is our War Room producers. With their donations of $50 or more, these producers receive a few extra perks. An official A to Z handle of their choice, a spotlight in that week's show for a short speech, an official executive producer producership credit, and they get to see the magic as it happens up in the War Room before we send the show out into the netherworld of the internet. Thank you for sticking by us and helping to keep the backroom producers stocked in coffee and donuts. And if you are interested, we do have a more intricate definition of each of those perks that War Room producers receive in our show notes. There you go. Thank you. Now back to the meat and potatoes of Plug and Depravity Edition. <laughs> All right. All right. Last plugin I've got for you here today is Time Zone Converter. This is a very useful plugin. There haven't been a lot of good time zone converters out there on the uh, in the WordPress community, and it's always useful to have one handy somewhere because you never know when you're going to need to pop one onto a website. You may work out with a client that has multiple offices and different time zones, all sorts of reasons for having a time, uh, time zone converter. Even one for your own use on a page you don't publish just so you can deal with your own clients who are in multiple time zones. You know, So you can just figure out what, what time zone you got to do something in. You know, it's nice that, and I'm granted you can go to Google or anytime, but sometimes those aren't always really simple and easy, and do it on your own page. Anyway, it's a nice, simple one. Works great. Gives you a nice, simple select uh, time and date, and then choose a city to convert from and convert to, and then convert to time, and boom, you got it. All set and done. You can find out what the time is in another zone. Straightforward plug-in. Go check it out. Time zone converter, and I give it a four dragon rating. That is really helpful. Last one I have is WP Login and Logout Redirect. So this is another really useful plugin, and it is so easy to use. You go in, put down the URL you want people to be redirected to upon login, and then you put the URL you want people to be redirected to upon logout, and you're done. There are more options in the Pro version. But for a simple and easy plugin, this is great. It works well, and it does play very nicely with the other <clears> plugins <throat> that are already there. Cool. I rate this at four dragons. Very cool. Go check that one out. All right. On to Classic Press, which we have unfortunately not been doing. We would love to have a couple of plugins from Classic Press to review a week, but we haven't had the time. I would, I am honestly challenging all of our listeners that if they are a Classic Press user, I challenge you to write a review of your favorite or least favorite Classic Press plugin and set it into us. You can, you can do so by hitting us up at wppluginsatoz.com slash submit plugin review. We do also have a Classic Press resource section. And... This information is like fruitcake. It doesn't wither away and will still be good years down the road. So it's great for learning. Go and check this section out in our show notes if you have an interest. Uh, questions, notes, and feedback from our producers out there. 
Seems our homing pigeon got lost on the way back with any messages again. So we have nothing for today. And how to be part of your own production. <clears throat> you can do interviews with us, getting yourself out there. I have to sneeze again, sorry. Silence. <laughs> oh, it's better than sound like a I just like a sure honk know. in the I just want to make show. sure everyone knows <laughs> that, you know, we didn't vanish, just went silent. <laughs> I know I listen to I listen to a couple of shows that actually have silence in there, and when it does that, I think my phone cut out. Oh, there they're talking again. <laughs> so yes, you can get yourself out there by using us as your tool and letting us interview you. You can uh, you can sign up for an interview based on your schedule whenever we're available at wpplugins.com/interview. You can also send in plugin reviews or suggestions for plugin reviews. Like, you don't have to write the review. You can just tell us the plugin you want us to review and we'll review it for you. We'll mention that you sent it in and we'll review it. You can do that by going to WPPlugins, A to Z.com slash submit plugin review. And another thing you can do is send in questions and or comments. Send in a thought, send in a hi, send in a really awesome note whatever you want or a suggestion on what you think like maybe the way that the show is set up right now you don't like send in a suggestion on how you think it should go instead and then we have stuff and reminders about stuff we don't have any meetups right now our meetup <laughs> on september 10th was pretty awesome even though not many people showed up it was still a fun social gathering we got the opportunity to watch the smoke as it rolled in over from over the mainland and covered the sky, which we have that going on again right now. We're, we're super smoky again. But do keep an eye here for the next meetup because for the next one, the date will be on here. Remember, you can check out our show notes on our site, wppluginsa-z.com. There is extra information to grab up there that we don't even read here on the show. You look at our show notes, you'll see a lot of... Uh, of information that has a dot 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 first that's all things we don't say on the show but it's there in the show notes for you to read so today's plugins we covered were i covered up the remember all which i give a four to the wp code insert headers and footers plus custom code snippets and wordpress code manager which i gave a five to and the time zone converter which i gave a four to and I covered rewrite email address, which I rated at five, inactive login, which I rated at four, and WP login and logout redirect, which I rated at four. You can support us by subscribing to our newsletter, donating, or reviewing us on Stitcher Radio, Google Play, or the iTunes Store. You can also join our Facebook. And if you do, please hit the like button. And you can also join our YouTube channel, which we also, please, hit the like button. Very good. And you can also still get a hold of us through snail mail, if anybody remembers how to do that. I barely do. But we do have a physical brick-and-mortar address that you can send things into. Absolutely. Now, it's question and answer time. Whenever. <laughs> so just before I get started, if anyone out there has any questions you'd like to have asked here on the show, send them in to me at amber at WPPRO.ca. I would love to have people help me, assist me in stumping my dad. <laughs> my first question for you is, why do you think so many people don't change the credentials or simply delete accounts after they fire someone? Stupidity. Is that it? <laughs> no, that's it's, that's the obvious answer. But it, I don't understand why they don't change their credentials. You know, if you fired somebody, it's usually for a reason, and you don't want them to have access back to your data. You should have their credentials changed before <laughs> you tell them they're fired, <laughs> because it's not unknown in the world where they fire somebody and in the 15 minutes it takes for them to clean up their stuff they fire off something which damages a whole bunch of stuff in the process before they go out 
Um, you, if you're if you're letting an employee go, and they have cr- critical access to certain things, or even semi access to stuff, or even access to your network. Period. You want those credentials changed ASAP. Don't waste any time. Just do it. You should have a plan in place with your with your tech support team to say so and so is being fired. Remove their credentials as of this time. Period. Maybe even remove the credentials before they get fired. Yep. As I said, it's, the best thing is to remove them before you tell them they're fired. But before they have a chance to go to their computer and find out they have no credentials. So you want to yeah. gotta catch it at the right moment. I have no idea why they don't. It's a laziness, you know, lack of foresight, thinking nothing's going to happen, or stupidity. That's why. Maybe they're just overly trusting of the dude's name, Ben. Well, if they're firing a dude named Ben, if you're firing a dude named Ben, you better have his credentials removed before you tell him. <laughs> you know, especially if he's been a pain in the ass employee, because he might have a single script all set up yeah. and he hits a magic button. That script fires and something runs through your system and does serious damage. I mean, dude names Ben, dude, dudes named Ben are dangerous people, man. I mean, they run the world. They have godlike power, but most of them are too lazy to bother. Yeah, no, not too late. Not just too lazy to bother. Most of them are ethical. That the, too. The vast majority of them are ethical because if they weren't ethical, nobody could do anything. I mean, you got to think about how many hands your data goes through before you do anything. You know, like even just going to the bank. How many? How many dudes named Ben has that data passed by on its way to your bank? That is a very fair point. You know, and then you got the, the dudes named Ben at the higher the higher end of the echelon, man, which have the uh, true ultimate god powers. They have access to everything. Those guys are downright dangerous if they decided to be. So. My next question is: After hearing about the hacking and losing of personal information so often, do you think maybe people are just numbed to it, and that's why they don't make harder passwords and do the protection required? Well. Yes and no. Problem with harder passwords is remembering those passwords. There's so many things that you can have remember passwords for you. Yes, I know. But that one thing is a is a critical uh, a hole in the system too. True. If you if you lose that password, you're screwed. Yeah. So it's like it's it varies. You know, I don't know. And yes, I'm pretty sure people are getting numb to it now. You know, after so much as been hacked and hacked and uh, personal information escaping into the wild. And yet we still continue to do many things to put our data at risk. You know, my, oh, yeah. my, my landlord sent me a notice that, you know, they no longer will accept uh, direct debits from my bank account for paying the rent. I have to go through their new online system um, and set up a payment processing through their new oh man and it's an online company it's a corporation that does this for apartment buildings and managers building managing companies and whatnot and so it's a central place that collects the money who now collects a fee which fortunately that fee is not charged to me but now the 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 I'm paying I, I've been paying my rent directly from my banks so they didn't lose any money they got all my rent so now they want me to go through this company which is going which is charging them a fee mm-hmm to collect my rent. So they're going to lose part of my rent to collect this fee, which makes no sense to me. And on top of it, this company I can pay my rent to, I can now pay my rent with my credit card, not be charged a fee on my credit card, but the credit card company is going to charge that company a fee. <laughs> so well, that's entertaining. So going down the line here, everyone everyone past me is going to get less money than they would have gotten if they <laughs> continue to take the money directly from my bank account, which was a more secure method to get my money. Yeah, because now I got to go sign up with another company, give them whatever personal information they're they're going to demand from me, and you know I'm going to use a I'll use a credit card for it because I don't want to give them access to my bank account in case their system gets hacked sometime. Because if my credit card gets compromised, I don't lose any money. Yeah, but if my bank account gets compromised, I could lose everything. So it's like you know, I look at the stupidity of this sort of thing, and you know. But yet- the place I was in this time last year, they tried to convince me to do that. And I said, I just simply said, no, I'll just keep paying you in cash because I've always yeah. paid my rent in cash. Yeah. Well, this one, this this building I'm in, they won't take cash. Oh. 
They, That's weird. They've never taken cash from the time I rented it. They they demand a check or a money order or uh, direct uh, direct uh, debit. Huh. So. All right. Well, remember, everyone, we will be coming back to the next two questions. Okay. And the little uh, lady, take us on out of here. Reminders for the show. All show notes can be found at wppluginsatoz.com. And while you're there, subscribe to the newsletter for more useful information delivered directly to your inbox. WP Plugins A to Z is a show that offers honest and unbiased reviews of plugins created by developers because you support the show. Help keep the show honest and unbiased by going to wppluginsatoz.com slash donate and set the donation level that fits your budget. Help us make the show better for you by subscribing and reviewing the show at Stitcher Radio, Google Play, and in the iTunes Store. You can also leave us a review on our Facebook page using wppluginsatoz.com slash Facebook. You can also watch the show live on YouTube, check out the screencasts and training videos, and remember to subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications of all new videos. Follow the show on Twitter at wppluginsatoz. John can also be reached at his website, johnoverall.com, or email him directly, john at wppro.ca. Thanks for joining us, and have a great day. Thanks for listening to the show. This show is copyrighted by johnoverall.com. So until next time, have yourselves a good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you happen to be out there on the globe today. a couple really good questions here i saved them for the last two questions okay first one is what are decryption keys and how do they work uh decryption keys um they're paired and they are a mathematical number based upon uh on uh solving crazy mathematical equations and uh one of the reasons one of the reasons why bitcoin mining came into being was the numbers that like and initially it was easy to get a bitcoin because it was solving mm -hmm. a mathematical problem but now it's really hard to be, get a bitcoin because it's solving a higher and higher computation and that crazy number that comes out at the end that's a bitcoin is also a number that is used for an encryption key okay and then that's matched with another key matched with something else but uh it's their keys that are that they used to be 1072 bits now they're 22,000 something bits i can't remember where the decryption keys are i knew quite a bit about it many years ago when i first got into it but it's but decryption keys are basically as i said they're they're the result of solving a crazy mathematical computation Okay. And how they work is you get two keys. One key is your private key, which is part of the answer. The other key is a public key, which is the other part of the answer, and they got to match together to create the answer to the que to the question, whatever it's going to be. Okay. Uh my next question is what line of work is a decryption key most useful for? Do you use them? You use them every day. You just don't know it. Explain. You ever go to a site that has SSL encryption? Yes. That you're using you're using uh, decryption keys. Your computer has one part of that key, and that website has the other part of the key. Hmm. You have the so, public. You have the public key, which everyone has. They have the private mm -hmm. key, and that's how it makes the connection. Everyone uses okay. them, everyone uses them every day. Decryption keys. They're use you when you log on to your bank account, you're using decryption keys. Um they're they're used everywhere on online. And now they're just completely common online. 
Okay, so the reason why I had these questions, I just sent you the link to what I was reading. Uh, this is something from our extra news, and police tricks deadbolt ransomware out of 155 decryption keys. Yep. I was wondering how that was, why, why that was so important. Because they encrypted your computer. You know, if you if you get ransomware, what it does is it comes in and they encrypt your computer. They encrypt your hard drive. So okay. none of your data is readable, period. You know, without mm. the decryption key. You need to, you need the decryption key to match with the private key that they have encrypted the data with to unencrypt the data. So it's kind of like everything in your own computer is stuck behind a paywall. Yeah, everything in your own computer is stuck behind a paywall. That's basically what it boiled down to. Okay. And so for that particular article, that makes sense that that would be a really big thing then. Yep. Oh, good job, Dutch police. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, a very good job if they, if they manage to trick them out of it. That's a very good yep. job because that's not an easy thing to do, scam the scammers. Although it's becoming no, more they, common. Uh, they, they managed to, the, the Dutch National Police, in collaboration with cybersecurity firm, managed to trick the deadbolt ransomware gang into handing over 155 decryption keys by faking ransom payments. Yeah. I think that's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, now at least I know exactly what decryption keys are. For some reason, I was picturing, like, I don't know, some kind of special usb thing that was all fancy like they well, like you see in the movies they have those too but yeah the key is just on the usb drive huh <laughs> that is a whole different world to dive into isn't it oh yeah huh guess i know where my mind will be going yeah, for my next a, bout of learning it's it, it's interesting i learned all about it back in my early days of the internet when i was busy learning how to program and and hack and everything else. So, back in the days when I actually had the time and presence of mind to do that stuff. Well, I guess that is the end of our show since uh, our favorite our, our favorite producer isn't here today. Yeah, he's not here. Our favorite producer who gives us lots and tots of feedback is uh, off playing somewhere. So I think we'll take it out with a full version of the startup song. These are the days of thunder. We're going to make time stand still. A quarter after midnight. And I'm watching the wall. Sometimes I feel so uptight. I just can't sleep at all Every day doing the same old thing We're losing time The weekend comes, we gotta have some fun And rewind These are the days of thunder We're gonna make time stand still We gotta Choking off our air We need to grab some lightning Friday's almost here Caught in a web, we need to cut this thread We're hanging by Where is it said you have to be half dead to survive? Take
That's all we got for you, folks. Take care now. Bye bye. Take care. Glitch, glitch, glitch. <laughs> Adios, mofo.